What's going on guys, Blues Podcast is here and we are here for another jersey video and today we are going to be doing a jersey versus Rainy's match preview, goal prediction and predictor lineup and also injury news but first before we cracking on this video make sure to like this video if you're enjoying this content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, here we go. So top mates, but I'm in uh, Group E of uh, the Champions League on Tuesday as Rennes welcome uh, leaders Chelsea to uh, Ryzen Park in uh, Game Week 4. This weekend hosts recently suffered their third defeat on the bounce with a 1-0 loss uh, to Bordex on Friday, uh, whereas Chelsea stormed to their uh, fifth win in a row over Newcastle United. Having started the season with uh, so much promise and a genuine sense of a belief that Rennes could uh, forge that challenge in the League One. Uh, they are now uh, injuring a pair of uh, capturation, aiming of an unforgiving fixture schedule. Uh, the eight game unbeaten run uh, that Rennes managed to string together at the start of the season is firmly in the past as uh, Les Rogue have now tested defeat in a five of their last six match in all competition including a 1-0 uh, home loss to Bordix on Friday. Uh, the veteran uh, Hatem Ben Arfa uh, notched up the only goal uh, in, the, in the game as Rennes. Alarm Islam continued with uh, their only victory in their last eight coming against Brest and even the Stefan's main only just scrapped a 2-1 trip on uh, their own turf. Uh, the League One outfit have hardly uh, fared better in their first ever Champions League venture either as Rennes already sit bottom on uh, the pill of having taken just one point from a possible nine at this midway stage with the Russian side a Krasnodar Dar ahead of Stefan's men a uh, of of head to head away goals scored uh, should Rennes lose to Chelsea and Sevilla overcome Krasnodar this week let's draw, uh, have hopes of making the new cup stage will be uh, dashed in the the best that Stefan Smith could hope uh, for after uh, that would be a, a spot in the Europa League after after they managed to pip Krasnodar that third place. And in a stark contrast, Chelsea cannot stop winning at the moment with Frank Lampard. Finally, witnessing his talented attacking crop uh, combining to uh, a great effect uh, that the Blues will. Um, Invader uh, to win their sixth game in a row in all competition when they uh, cross the channel in a midweek. Uh, and while Chelsea experienced moments of uncertainty against Newcastle United, Lampard side eventually ran out of comfortable winners uh, in the northeast. Uh, Fred Racco uh, Fernandez on goal uh, set the tone for the game early on with Carl Darlow forced into a couple of uh, fine saves to keep the the score line at 1-0 but the magic piece shooter stop has powerless to stop Tammy Abraham double just lead in the second half after a brilliant solo run uh, from team of Werner uh, that results so Chelsea led the way in the Premier League uh, before Tottenham Hotspur uh, overcome Manchester City's uh, a, a few hours later but uh, one table that Lampard's men still top is Champions League uh, group A with Chelsea ahead of Sevilla on, on a goal difference having a drawn 0-0 uh, with uh, spinners already with 7 goals scored and 0 conceded so far in Europe. Chelsea's qualification for the knockout stage uh, will be confirmed uh, so long as they, they beat Rennes and Krasnodar failed to get the bet of Sevilla this week. Uh, Chelsea's showdown uh, with Rennes at Stamford Bridge so uh, the Blues ran out 3-0 winner earlier in November with two uh, Werner penalties putting Chelsea in control before half-time while Abraham also got, got in uh, on the, the act in the second 4-5 uh, and after being sent off in controversial circumstance against Chelsea earlier in this month Dalbert will play no part uh, for Rennes but uh, the left-back was not involved in any capacity against Bordeaux either 
uh, Adrian Dwarfed uh, could therefore be in line for a taxi night against the formidable Chelsea attack, although uh, Hamari Traore is capable of uh, filling in on the left hand side as well. Uh, Fadius Mosa is nearing return, but the visit of Chelsea may come too soon for, for the defender while um, Danny Regani continues to recover from a, a tie problem. And Chelsea are in good shape for game week 4 in the Champions League with Kai Havertz and Thiago Silva potentially making their returns uh, from coronavirus and footage um, respectively and Chelsea head coach Frank Lampard believes uh, Kai Havertz will be a uh, contention uh, to face Rennes on Tuesday after uh, missing two weeks with the coronavirus and the 21 years old uh, got a positive test for COVID-19 shortly before uh, the last Champions League clash with the French club and he was sold five later at home uh, until last week and it's understood that uh, Kai Havertz signing for Liverpool has been uh, training at home on an exercise bike after recovering from uh, male symptoms associated with uh, the virus despite his training being uh, disrupted Havertz could be uh, said to feature as Blues could qualify for the new cup phase uh, with a win uh, in the match of uh, Rosian Park. Uh, I hope he's available. He's been in for two or three days in training doing some uh, individual work and he looks pretty good. La Parcade of Havers after his side a 2 0 win away uh, at uh, Newcastle on uh, Saturday. As the team scored with a considered schedule this term, uh, there has been a rise in injuries that has led to host of uh, top managers including Lampard to call for uh, changes and Lampard has asked for uh, five substitutions uh, to be reintroduced and for uh, the early kickoffs to remove from the Premier League. Indeed, uh, after an international break when Mason Mount uh, played a lot of minutes and Ben Chilwell suffered an injury scare, Lampard hinted at that his team could look different for, for the midweek chance in France and uh, it would be the biggest test and I will make the decision to make changes depending on how the recovery looks. He added people like Ben Chilwell have had a, a back problem. Let's see how he wakes up tomorrow. People who have played international uh, minutes mission played a lot. Let's see how they are for tomorrow over the next 48 hours. I certainly don't uh, underestimate Rennes. I understand the group is still in position where we need to try to get results. I have faith in the squad, but uh, when I pick the team, I will try to pick the strongest team possible with a view of where the uh, freshness and legs are in the team. And Chelsea have won five matches in a row and uh, went to the top of the Premier League for a few hours, having played in the first match of the weekend at St. John's Park and Tottenham's win over Man City. Uh, later in the day, we we'll see Spurs' uh, love for the Blues. Uh, Dampard has called upon his side to be humble about their league position and search for the kind of uh, consistency that uh, that can truly rank them among the title contender. Uh, I'm not going to smile too much at the league table. He added it's as nice to have the three points uh, when you are in the first game of the weekend, but I know uh, the league table will change. Uh, we can only worry about ourselves and our form at the mint. Uh, we are at this position. But consistency and doing it over uh, a big period is the next test for us, that's why it's said. And um, however, the game will come too soon uh, uh, for the injured Christian Pulisic, who continues to nurse a hamstring problem. But Lampard, as well, has a fully fit squad um, at his disposal. Werner may be uh, given a match uh, needed as rest uh, for for this one, as Callum Hudson Odoi. Looks to impress and says as Perqueta is uh, in condition for a start at the right back after which James suffered a small injury against Newcastle United. Although the England international uh, completed the full 90 minutes. And guys, when we go to the predicted lineup, first we uh, we're going to see Rennes' possible start lineup. Uh, it's going to be in goalkeeper uh, Gomez and Fender Traule, uh, Gord Da Silva. Uh, Schofield, Zonzi, uh, Kamvinga, uh, Borgad, Joke, Kusi, and Terrier. It's gonna be 
the possible start lineup for Rennes and when we go to Joseph's possible uh, start lineup uh, yeah, obviously in the goalkeeping position um, uh, Edouard Mende mm, in that the back uh, Cesar Spilicueta uh, I think it's good to give rest uh, some rest for Reese James and Spilicueta will be in and Kozoma and Thiago Silva and on the left, uh, Ben Chilwell. In the middle, uh, it's gonna be in Golo Kante and Jorginho. And at number ten, Mason Mount. On the right, has Hakim Ziyech. And front, Tammy Abraham. And on the uh, on the left, uh, yeah, it could be Callum Hudson-Odoi. And my prediction for this game would be Chelsea to win. Uh, a 2 nil uh, victory. Uh, yeah, Chelsea's defense is uh, one of only two in the Champions League yet to be uh, breaching the group stage. Uh, the other being Liverpool's, and Lampard should have uh, confidence in his uh, regard to keep it. Another clean sheet here. Uh, Rennes are in a, an, in a road at uh, the moment and have been performing uh, abysmally uh, compared to Chelsea's side, sweeping side all. Um, stand before them and we expect the Blues to tramp um, with us and see the qualification for the new coach stage uh, confirmed uh, in the midweek and guys this is all I have for today's video and make sure to like this video if you're enjoying this content and don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the bell icon to get all the new videos when I upload thank you for your support thank you for watching this video bye bye